Well, the judge declared him a flight risk and danger to the public. The prosecutor made the case that his actions were reckless and done with disregard for public safety. Police arrested 35-year-old Wesley Lyons without incident Sunday. They found him at a Red Roof Inn near Hanover. Investigators will only say technology helped find him, and it wasn't his cell phone which he threw out the day of the crime. Lyons had been on the run for nearly a month following a shooting during a preschool child's birthday party at the Hartford Mall. He even ignored his father's plea for him to surrender. I like for you to turn yourself in. I know he doesn't look good for you. I hate that he got this far, but it's now, you know, it's time for you, you know, to man up. Lyons' defense attorney pointed to the fact the victim had just gotten out of jail on drug and firearm charges. The judge did not find it relevant to the case. What is relevant? Court documents that indicate a surveillance camera capture the shooting. It shows a fight between Lyons' mother and another woman. Lyons' girlfriend intervenes. Those involved are stepping back from a group of five people. Lyons is seen holding a handgun and fires. Two shots hit the victim's thigh and another in his hand. The victim survived. Lyons' mother and his girlfriend were arrested soon after for allegedly helping Lyons flee in a maroon Jeep. They are both charged with being accessories after the fact. According to his defense attorney, Lyons owns two businesses, a clothing store and auto shop. He has three children. His criminal history also played a role in the judge's decision to deny bail. Court testimony indicates Lyons has 20 arrests, including drug and gun charges. He carried a fraudulent ID. The judge noted he failed to show up for court 10 times. Lyons said that's not true. He violated probation four times. He had one contempt of court charge. According to Bel Air Police, detectives began watching the hotel and eventually identified the room where Lyons stayed. With the help of Anne Arundel County Police, he was arrested without incident. Reporting live from District Court in Bel Air, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.